hello Joseph. Hi. Uh, you are after your first training with Viswa. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. It's um, nice to finally start training with the boys. Um, I've been looking forward for this, so it was good. Uh, let's talk a bit about you, of course, uh, yeah. and let's start from the beginning. You were born in the Gambia, but raised in Sweden. Are you more Gambian or Swedish? I would say I'm both, because I was born in, uh, in Gambia, and then uh, when I was eight, I moved to Sweden, and that's uh, where my football career started. So I would say I'm, I'm both. Yeah, you were formed as a player in Sweden, and what's the approach to the young players in this country? Do they focus on a complex development of young players? Um, I would say, like, when I was there as a young player, um, by that time, yeah, they were focusing on, uh, on the young players, trying to uh, develop them and uh, for them to, after, go to Europe and play. And I think they're still doing the same thing. They're trying to do their best to develop uh, young players and trying to sell young players and make money for the club. Mm. Now, let's move on to the period of time you spent in England, in Chelsea. Uh, how would you sum up this, this experience? I guess the possibility to train in such a big club was, uh, cannot be overrated. It has to be great. Yeah, um, I really had a good experience when I was there. Um, it's such a big club, uh, as you said. And um, the experience, like when you're there, um, it's a lot of pressure. So uh, as, a, as a young player, you need to be able to handle that pressure and be on top of your game every day, every training, every session. So I think like I had a very good experience and uh, that helped me a lot to be to become a player that I am today. You played in the under 18 and under 23 teams, uh, yeah. but did you have any opportunity to meet, for example, with Jose Mourinho? Yeah, I've been I've been with the first team a couple of a uh, couple of times. Um, my first training session with the first team was uh, when Mourinho was there. So I had the opportunity to, to meet him and uh, train with him. So what kind of impression did he make? Um, like before, I've never met him, and uh, you can always have a, a opinion before you before you meet someone. And when you see Mourinho on TV, he looks a little bit crazy, you know. But when I met him in person, he was such a nice guy and uh, a good coach. He likes uh, young players. For me, when I came there, he spoke to me and told me what I was supposed to do and stuff. So, really nice guy. Sounds good. And now let's go back to the present. Uh, what convinced you to accept the offer from this one? Um, before I came here, I knew about Visla, but I didn't know a lot about Visla. Um, for me, it was important to talk to s someone direct in the club. So I spoke with the coach. And when I spoke with the coach, he, he explained some important details for me, which I think was very important. And uh, I think that, that made me, me want to come here because uh, he showed me that he, he believes in me. He has confidence on me. And, uh, as a player, I think that's very important to have this kind of um, conversa conversation with a coach mm -hmm. before you come to a team. So I would say, I would say that's, that's the reason why. Okay, yeah. and so what, uh, what are your expectations from this new chapter in Poland and what, what are your goals with the team? Um, so my goal is to help the team, to help the team to achieve um, the things that uh, they want to achieve. And as a player, I want to develop. And I think um, this, the team and the coach can help me develop me to a, to a player that I want to be. So I'm looking forward uh, for this season. So I wish you all the best. Thank you. And thank you for the interview. Thank you.